Hello there pluckers, Ivor Sorfman here again with you. Thanks very much for joining me for another guitar lesson. This is uh, this one's in response to some requests I've had recently to do uh, some more Rod Stewart numbers. Okay, So this one is a number called Sailing, one of his larger hits uh, in recent years. And I'm just going to do the intro, the iconic intro, and uh, a couple of verses. Okay. And that's basically that's that's it. There is no middle eight section as such, but there is a guitar solo, uh, which I will show you the chords to, uh, but I won't show you the solo itself uh, because it's done on a heavily distorted, overdriven guitar, electric guitar uh, with lots of bending and such like, and it's not really suitable to give you a lesson on an acoustic on it. Okay. It's probably hard. <laughs> it's almost impossible to play on acoustic as well, I think. Um, uh, but if uh, I showed you the rhythm to it, and then you can hum it to yourself, or you can get uh, a friend in with an electric guitar and let him play over the top of you if you like. Uh, whatever suits. Okay. So without more ado, um, I'll uh, play this. Play what I'm going to play now, and break it down and explain what I've done. Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> with the, the version in for you. A um, couple of notes. Um, originally, uh, Rod Stewart, uh, when he first recorded a number, he did it in the key of B, okay? And um, the capo would have been on the fourth fret, okay? But in later years, I noticed he's singing it in the key of A, okay? So hence I've lowered it down two frets. The capo is on that second fret now, okay, which uh, suits my voice a bit better. <laughs> voice question mark um, as well, so uh, not so high, okay. So uh, so you can take a choice if you want to play it in the original key. Just put the capo up two frets and play exactly what I'm going to show you. If you don't mind it being a bit lower and, and going trying to play along with his recent uh, live versions, you can capo on the second fret. Okay, um, I think he did the Glastonbury one uh, with it on the second fret. Okay, so the introduction. Uh, I'm playing on the fifth fret from the capo. Okay, so fifth fret from the capo, and on the third string, and then uh, my first finger and my third finger. I'm playing on the sixth fret from the capo on the second string, and the first string is open. Okay. And what you do is you play as third, the third string, then the first string open, second string, so got that. Then you play two hits on the third string, so it's first string, second string again. Two string, two hits on the third, first string, second string, 
and it does that four times. Okay, so it's first time you'll need it once, okay, and then after that it's twice on the third uh, string. Okay, so it's okay, then we change shape. So I'll just do that slowly for you. Okay, so Distracted then. <laughs> okay, then we go to the second shape, which is uh, basically a part of a G chord. It just all you need is the uh, uh, third fret of the first string fretted, whichever finger is most comfortable for you, and you just play uh, open third, open second to the fretted third fret of the first string and back to the second string. Okay. Okay, so it's a sort of a so if just there. Okay, so it's three, two, one, two. Okay? You do that twice. And then you play an open fourth string. And then the second string open. Third string uh, first string with a finger on the third fret, back to the second string open, okay? So basically the first time it's the first two times it's open third string, second string, third, first string, back in to the second string. So and the third time it's D open fourth, second string, first string, second string, and then it's back to the third string, second string, first string, second string. Okay, so it's okay. Then we go back to the first shape again and repeat exactly the same as what you did before. So back to the first, the second shape, and do that twice, and then play a arpeggiated D chord. So the whole thing is this. So I'll play it slowly, okay? Finish it off by going starting the song off. Okay, so it's open fourth, so second fret on the fourth. And then we come into the chords, okay, which is quite straightforward. It's G, sailing, I am E minor, sailing, Homer seeking, cross the G, C, I am A seventh. Sailing, stormy E minor waters to be A minor near you to be G three D. Second verse, I am G flying. I am E minor flying like a seabird across the G sky. I am A seventh flying, passing E minor backwards to be A minor with you to be A uh, sorry G three D, and that's basically it. Okay, so up to speed it's I am sailing G to E minor da da C. D D G A seven D D minor A minor G to D Okay, and uh, the A seventh obviously is, is an A shape with an open third string. So I'm only playing the second fret of the fourth string and the second fret of the second string. Okay, just so pressure upon that one. Uh, and the solo, right, from after you've done a few verses, obviously, if you, if you want to go into the, 
the solo, after you come out of the verse and you're on the D, it sort of stays on the D for a while. So um, if I comes out of the... Um, here comes the solo. Da 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 C D E minor D E minor C G to D and then I think it then starts the uh, that bit again. It, it sort of fades into that, doesn't it? I think, and then the whole thing starts again. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, that's a nice short, sweet lesson for you. Okay, uh, any any problems? Let me know. But, but thanks for watching and listening, and I'll see you in the next video.